Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. Before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Uh, just going into a quick lesson, you know, pretty much concerning, you know, the waster to destroy. And, uh, you know, we know according to the scriptures, you know, that waster, you know, that's pretty much going to bring the destruction of America and Esau Edom's kingdom is the ICBM thermonuclear missiles. All right. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right. And, uh, you know, it's all through the spirit and the power. Of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, that these weapons, you know, these instruments, as the scriptures say, were created. All right, and we're going to get that real quick. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, um, chapter 54 and verse 16. Okay. Um, this is Isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith, the uh, smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. All right, and these uh, Smiths is pertaining to these scientists. You know, if you ever watch, um, you know, the movie Oppenheimer, you know, it just came out not too long ago. Um, you know, pretty much pertaining to uh, uh, Robert J. Oppenheimer, if I'm not getting that mistaken. Uh, Amalekite, pretty much. Uh, he was one of the, the, the head men, all right, from Edom, you know, pretty much going into making the atomic bomb. All right, so these scientists, you know, or they would call them within the movie, uh, uh, physicists, nuclear physicists. All right, but you know, when you do your research on that, um, you know, digging deeper, uh, these Germans, you know, they 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 Edomites as well. You know, they're known as the Temanites. You know, pretty much the the smartest uh, among uh, Esau, uh, the Temanites, the Germans. You know, they played a big role in creating the atomic bomb as well. All right, they were actually the first to split the atom, okay? But you know, uh, when you when you watch the movie, I ain't gonna spoil it. But pretty much, it's going into how these scientists, man, they they created, you know, these bombs, man. All right, so the Lord had created the Smith, the scientist that bloweth the coals in the fire, and bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And what is that instrument? These missiles. It says, and have created the waster to destroy these ICBM thermonuclear missiles. All right. So just pretty much completing that thought, you know, the Lord, you know, uh, put it on the spirit of Amalek and these Germans, you know, these Edomites to pretty much create the, 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 the missiles, all right, the, the weapon that's going to bring destruction to their kingdom. All right. And Esau don't even know it. All right. That's that's a that's a beautiful thing. OK, because. You know, we're at the point to where we see the signs of war. All right. We know where these things are leading to, you know, and all the other signs that's pointing towards the destruction of Esau Edom's kingdom. All right. And the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. And eventually, you know, it's going to get to the point to where these devils, you know, uh, fighting, you know, against these nations. All right. They're going to be shooting off these missiles, man. Okay. But uh, nonetheless, uh, let me play this. Uh, video uh pretty much pertaining to yemen okay um i believe it's a rebel rebel group which they'll go into it that that shot off some missiles man all right bringing some breaking news because yemen's houthi rebels have claimed responsibility for a series of drones and missiles launched towards israel's coastal holiday city of Ilat. israel reported destroying an aerial target over the road you see you see the distance you know that those drones and missiles you know will have to travel you know that's why the the missiles have the uh, abbreviation of ICBM you know intercontinental ballistic missiles because we know that the missiles from these nations such as you know Russia you know Gog and Magog according to the scriptures uh, uh, Iran you know being Ishmael uh, these other nations you know China Moab uh, you know, Ammon, they ain't forget about what uh, Esau Edom did during uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which during that time, 
you know, Esau Edom, he dropped the atomic bomb. You know, that that has now elevated into the, the nuclear bombs, you know, that we have now. All right. But nonetheless, you know, eventually, you know, those missiles are going to have to be shot. OK, all the way over here, which, you know, uh, it, which is a great distance, you know, like I believe over 5000 miles, if I'm not mistaken. All right. You know, don't hold me to those words, but it's it's a great distance. And that's why they had the abbreviation of ICBMs. But you see the distance from Yemen to Israel, you know, that these rebel, these rebels of Yemen, you know, shot those missiles and drones, man. All right. See, Israel blamed the Iranian Batutis for a similar attack on Friday. Let's uh, cross over to Alan Fisher joining us now from the occupied East Jerusalem uh, with the very latest on this. And there will be reaction uh, to this from uh, the Israelis, Alan. Uh, two attacks in the last 12 hours or so, there was what was described as an unidentified aerial threat uh, early in the hours of uh, Tuesday, which was blown out of the sky essentially by the Israelis. That was over at the, the Red Sea and heading towards Elat. And then just a few hours later, there was a missile that was intercepted. Now, uh, that missile, they believe, was a land-to-land -land missile that was fired uh, from Yemen. Uh, they say it was Iranian-made. Uh, it was taken out of the sky by uh, what is known as the uh, Arrow Defense System. That's the first time it's been used in Israel since 2017 when it intercepted uh, a Syrian missile. It is the top level. Everyone's heard of Iron Dome. So you see, the missiles, the missiles getting shot, man. Those wasters, man. And these... You know, these missiles that's being shot right now are not uh, the, the nuclear missiles, but they're still missiles nonetheless, man. All right. The scriptures speak about how, you know, pertaining unto this war right here, you know, it's going to be fought with uh, fuel and fire. And let me let me get that real quick, if I can. Uh, Isaiah 9 and verse 5, it says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments road and blood and that's pertaining to ancient warfare man you know how the armies will, will line up you know with their armies with 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 swords spears uh staffs uh mallets you know and pretty much uh hand-to-hand -hand combat all right with, with weapons it says but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire so that's pertaining to the war that we're going to have now man pertaining to world war three all right, it's going to be uh, with burning and fuel of fire. And those missiles play a, 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 a key critical role in that being so. All right. And these missiles, as I may mention, are going to be shot from one end of the earth even to unto the other, man. From continent to continent. This is 2nd Edris chapter 16 and verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. And this is pertaining unto Yahweh by Shemia Rashai. You know, the Lord is going to use... You know, these weapons, these wasters to destroy, man. All right. And it says his arrows pertaining to the missiles that he shooteth are sharp. So, the, you know, the, the prophet Edris described the missiles as arrows, man. These wasters to destroy as arrows, man. All right. We know that the bow would be the, the missile silos, man. The instrument that these missiles will be shot from. Okay. And it says... His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. And why they won't miss? Because first and foremost, the Lord's spirit is going to be within these missiles, man. All right. And, and secondly, the Lord put the, the capability of Esau putting uh, uh, GPS uh, tracking, you know, on, on these missiles that they will go to their, their designated target. OK, they're not going to break rank. All right. But it says, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. This is pertaining to those missiles, man. Uh, thus, the abbreviation ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, man. All right. And this is beautiful, man, because we, we've been foretold about the signs that we're in, man. We know that the spirit of war is heavy in the air right now. And it's only going to elevate to the point to where it gets to, to World War Three, man. All right, so let's get into the, the signs. You know, the Lord told us about these times, you know, when he's speaking to his disciples. All right, on the Mount of Olives, man. All right, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right, and that's the point that we're at now, man. 
A lot of tensions between the nations. A lot of articles pertaining to war, man, on what's going on over in the Middle East, all right? Even around the world, man. It says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So it's going to be war, man. All right. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So we're in the beginning of sorrows right now, man. All right. And if you're measuring the time, you will understand very well that we are in the midst of war, man. All right. We're in the midst of World War Three. OK, and it's, it's going to pop off. It's going to get to the point to where the Lord gathered these nations so that he does judge them by way of fire, man. OK, it's going to get to that point, man. All right. So let's read this. Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter nine and verse uh, 12. And excuse me if I'm reading or uh, going too fast and making this on my break and it's short. Uh, but Revelation nine and 12, one woe is past pertaining unto World War one because woe stands for destruction and behold two more woes uh and behold there come two more woes more hereafter so two more world wars woes destructions is going to come after world war one and we know that uh world war two already took place you know when we read uh revelation 11 and 14 and and, and that reads the second woe is past. It's the World War II, you know, woe destruction. And behold, the third woe coming quickly. And that's the point that we're at, man. World War Three, man. All right, total destruction of Esau Edom's kingdom, man. And this is the Lord all orchestrating this. And it's going to be beautiful when the Lord brings that destruction, man. Okay, so let me uh, end it off. Uh, let me read this precept here in uh, Isaiah. Um, chapter 13 I'm going to have to uh, breeze through it um, but this is uh, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 19 it says and Babylon and that's pertaining unto America man it says the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the child these excellency shall be as when the most high Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and we know Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, you know, was taken out by fire and brimstone. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Uh, let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 19. Real quick, real quick. Genesis chapter 19. And I believe verse uh, 24, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it says, Genesis 19, 24, it says, then the Lord Yahweh Shai reigned upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord Yahweh Shai out of heaven. And how the Lord is going to do that to the spiritual Sodom, all right, you know, and, and Egypt, you know, as it pertains in Revelation uh, 11 and 8, you know, what the Lord is going to do to the spiritual Sodom, you know, he's going to use the waste to destroy those uh, thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, so Isaiah... 1319 and Babylon, America, the glory of kingdoms and the beauty of the Chaldeans excellency shall be as when the Most High Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, fire and brimstone by way of those missiles, man. And it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Yeah, this place is going to be a desert at the end of the Lord's wrath, man. Okay. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. You know, pertaining to these uh, Ishmaelites, these merchants, you know, they come up and, and set up shop here in America. All right. Mainly in Jake's neighborhood and get rich. All right. But ain't gonna be no people dwelling here no more, man. All right. It says, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Verse 21. But the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there and satires shall dance there. So desert creatures, man. That's what's going to be living here. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses and the dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come. Yeah, this destruction of, of Babylon, her time is near to come, man. All right. And it says, and her days shall not be prolonged. So the Lord ain't prolonging this thing no more, man. This is the point that we're at in prophecy where this war is going to escalate, man. All right. 
and, and we pray to be delivered out of this, man. But it's going to escalate to the point to where the Lord is going to use the waster, man, to destroy, man. All right, let me play this uh, quick, quick clip. It says, Israel, Hamas, war, Iran, back, Hothis, uh launched ballistic missiles and drones at Israel. So let me see if I can get this clip to play real quick, you know, displaying the waster to destroy. See it. You know, so with that, Lord will, this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, and with that, Shalom.